we are watching oil prices up more than 1% today, but failing to break out of its recent range. Jim Uriel, let's go ahead and start with you. It's been a wild week for crude oil, but still looking to end in the green. What are the levels that you're keeping an eye on? Well, we've talked about this for the last two weeks, that 50 is the line in the sand. It's not that the story is not changing. The story is actually getting more and more fascinating as each day goes by and it can't break through it. To me, that means it's even more significant. If that thing trades 49.90, I will quickly become extremely bearish on it. Conversely, you know, 55 is love on the upside. If it settles above that, then it looks pretty good. But I kind of think that the level it resolves itself in is the level it arrived here in. So I'm kind of thinking more likely downside. All right, Chris, let's go over to you now. The OPEC meeting is behind us. What do you think going into the new year, the biggest catalyst could be for oil prices? Well, Jackie, it's going to be demand. And we saw yesterday that supplies drew for the second week in a row after building for nine straight. I think that's going to be a trend that continues into the new year. Uh, I have 52.82 on the upside. That's a 21-day moving average on the daily chart. I think if we settle above that, it makes that move to 55, like Jimmy says. But right now, I'm, a, I'm in the buy-the-dip mode of this market. We're, we're losing the window of prices lower, and demand will start picking up when the year turns.